Warning, this video contains strong language and scenes of a sexual nature from the outset and throughout. Me and Cammy, we ended up meeting in America, fell in love, moved her in with me, got engaged, we we're gonna get married. I'm devastated that it didn't work out. What happens? She fucking turns up on the beach. Well, hello, boys. So always nice to see you, Kirk. So I arrive at the beach. Kirk's there in a fucking cast. And I'm like, ha, deserve it, you little shit. You are the most oh, vile, goodness, vicious goodness. woman. I had my foot in cast at the time, because I broke my foot. So I couldn't run away when she threw a drink in my face. So I just threw a few facts in her face. Boy, you let me fuck you up the ass the first time I met you, you little slut. Oh, did I? Yes. I said some very horrible stuff at the beach. I'm not going to lie. Boo, boo, fuck off. Oh, I'm going to go oh. shit in your bed, you Fuck me. I walked off, then realised, oh, fuck, I've got to live with her. People are comparing us together, but I don't see the comparison, do you? When I first met Cammy, I was really nervous because, not because I was scared of her, but because I really wanted peace. I just wanted us to get on. And at first, she was a complete bitch. You're being bitchy. I'm trying to be nice. No, no, I'm not. No, at all. No, you'll know if I'm being bitchy. When I heard that Kirk was hooking up with other girls in the house, all I thought was, damn, I hope those bitches get an STD test. I, I would go to the doctor and get tested. Yes. Don't even touch me, you idiot. Oh, I just did. So goodbye. Bye, girl. It had been two years of lies that he had said about me, and I was there to set the record straight. I'm sure he didn't tell you guys this. He's fucking controlling and possessive. Never let me leave the house, ever. I kept her a prisoner in my house. This is how I kept her a prisoner, by getting a personal trainer in the house and getting a haircut in the house. I thought that was a luxury. Let's start off with the first lie that Kirk Norcross said, that he left me. No, honey, I left you. Second off, I find out that he gave me a hundred pound a day allowance. I'm surprised if he even had a hundred pound in his bank account when I left him. <laughs> he can go fuck himself. She is a fucking gold digger. She was trying to rinse me dry. Split the relationship up, said I can't cope with it no more. Um, she then decides to sell stories that she split up with me. <laughs> He can go fuck himself. Kirk and Cammy, you clearly have a past, but now it's time to look into your future. Fuck that shit. When me and Cammy went on a little date, uh, Cammy said to me, I don't want you having sex with Gemma. I'm not doing it no more since you're in the house. I thought, I thought it was a gentleman thing to do, do you know what I mean? And I, I told Gemma that. I said to Gemma, Gemma, I'm not going to do nothing because I don't want to hurt Cammy's feelings. He can go fuck himself in his little promises that he's not going to be with anyone else. Me and Cammy ended up having a good few chats and getting everything out in the air. I started to realise that not everything Kurt said was true. These two fuckers now want to go against me, start calling me out. Yeah, but that's not what you said to me. When you get lied to, it doesn't matter whether it's big or small, if it's someone that you care about, it just pisses you up. <laughs> Kirk. Are you serious? Kirk. I come across a bad man, I reckon, you know, but I can't help it. I'm, I'm a male, aren't I? You know what I mean? What am I going to do? I knew Kirk was lying when he said he wouldn't sleep with anyone else in the villa. It's Kirk we're talking about here. Straight away, I was attracted to Kirk. He's very cheeky. Do you know, it's just got feistiness about him. What's with you and Megan, then? Look, I've left her in a bear, man. She's like a princess attractive. I like you. You're sexy attractive. And he's just... He's a nut job. I just want to get out. He just kind of like in La La Land. It's not good to have a relationship with someone that's in La La Land, but it makes one hell of a cracking day.